All right. We're just committing. We're just committing. Oh, okay, yeah. We're nah, just committing, bro. It off. I don't care. Oh, there we go. Hey, so bro's fucking uh, hood thing or whatever. It's catching on fire. So we about to hit it. Let's go, man. Come on, GGs. YouTube. Sorry, I turned my camera around. Fucking almost ashes all over. What's up, gentlemen? Hey, real quick before we get started, um, if you've ever ordered something for your car and it says it's gonna take an hour to put on and you go to do it yourself and it's taken fucking five hours, speaking from true experience, go ahead and hit that like, like and subscribe button. I know you motherfuckers be doing that. But yeah, it's been almost a year since I posted my last video with my M4. <coughs> Did a few things to it. Um, last time it was kind of like a street build. Now it's more of a track oriented build. It still has a few things I need to get done, but for the most part, it is a pretty solid fucking daily driven track car. I love it so much. Um, I work from home, so I don't really drive anywhere except gym, canyon cruises, and other shenanigans. But yeah, let's get into it, man. First off, this is the only girl that's never let me down. Fat Bottom Body, or Fat Bottom Betty by Drew Estate. Thank you, I love you. Or not Drew Estate, Deadwood Tobacco out of South Dakota. So if you guys need an ambassador, let me know. I buy like two boxes, two or three boxes a month. So yeah, let's get into it, man. Um, so boom, let's just dive right into it. There she is in all her glory. Yes, sir. A few different things. I'll go through the new shit and then I'll go back through all the old shit for anyone that's new to the channel. Sorry, I'm smoking the cigar at the same time, but First thing you notice, dude, love these wheels. These are 18 inch apexes. I don't remember which ones, man. I don't, don't ask me the specs, I don't remember. I bought them used. But I'm running 265 35s in the front and then 295s, 30 in the rear. I wanted 305 um, 35s. What the fuck is going on over there, man? Um, but everything's fucking back ordered. I'm not waiting eight months for Cup 2s. But yeah, these are Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2s. Our compound tire. The police, man. They called to set a. They, no, I do donuts over here. Um, our compound tires. These are really, really nice. 18 inches, going from 18 to 20 inches was a huge game changer. I see why the GT4 race car runs them now. But. I could definitely fit some 305s on here. So on the back, both all wheels around. I have the Apex um, stud conversion with the 15 mil spacers in the rear and I have 12 mil spacers in the front. You can kind of see it. There it is. 90 mil uh, studs. I want extra long just in case I change the suspension or do something crazy and want to run some bigger spacers. So they're good, man. Car's super, super sticky. With these tires are super good. Um, I think though, next go around, when these are done, I'm gonna run Nanking AR1s. I um, heard a lot of great things about them. And if they're, they're good for track wheels, I still have them for track tires. I still have my old 20 inches. But yeah, that's one of the first noticeable things. One of the next things I did are these canards, dive planes. So these aren't factory canards. I, my ass is not paying nearly $2,000 for these four ass small pieces. Or excuse me, $1,000. Um, these are RW Carbon reps. But they still serve a purpose. And don't slaughter me if I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about or I sound stupid. But from my understanding, what these do is clear a lot of dirty air and turbulence around your wheel well. Um, so it just feels good. And I hit 162 of them. No issues at all. 162 miles per hour. So no issues at all. They were kind of a pain in the ass to install. If you're gonna do it, just pay a shop for these things. They tell it can take forever if you want them done right. Otherwise, you're gonna be sitting here for a minute. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, let's go to the rear. Uh, so one of my favorite things is with that GT4 style look. This is an APR performance. I wanna say this is a GTC 200 or 300. I'm pretty sure it's a 200. But it's, it's the SCCA one, um, fully adjustable. As you can see, 
which is also one of those things <laughs> get a shop to install um, but fully adjustable so right now i'm running it pretty aggressive and i could be wrong but i read it but at 120 miles per hour this wing puts around a thousand pounds of down down force at 15 degrees of angle so run it pretty aggressive man yeah nothing crazy i could go bigger but i wanted the gt4 style race car look so that's what we're gonna fucking do man so next thing actually i'll be right back i gotta fix my cigar all right i'm back sorry my wrapper the wrapper on this was not burning evenly and it bothers me i got ocd about this shit but where were we yeah let's go inside so my biggest most proudest feature is i got rid of those ugly ass fucking m performance mats man those things are so ugly bmw i don't know who the fuck your designer was it's probably helen keller but uh yeah so i got a new steering wheel I bought this one used from a buddy for a hundred bucks. So thank you, bro. Appreciate it if you watch this. I know these motherfuckers are like 1200. Carbon, pretty aggressive um, ergonomics. It's cool. I'd rather get a KMP one, but I, for the price I got this for, I'm not gonna say no. Um, then I got a it, <laughs> Nisma, or excuse, Nisma, holy fuck, I'm not even high. Uh, NRG Prisma seat, maroon. So there's not a ton of options for big guys out there like myself. Um, so really, once I start taking racing and time attack more serious, I still need to put a roll cage in and then a harness. Um, but I'm gonna do a higher end seat, probably a Sparco KRT-L, which is larger XL, depending on what fits better. But for now, for the price I got this, I'm not gonna complain, it was brand new. But yeah, maroon. I sit super low, I'll get in here and show you guys how I sit. Um, but we're on Sparco side rails or whatever and then that vac motorsports um floor mounts really really solid setup it makes a difference on track because you're not sliding around and you can focus on um driving you know i sit really well in this i'll show you in a minute um but yeah that's some of the few things i've done since i got this or since my last video um, i'll just go over everything else too actually something else so i did the xhp stage 3 trans tune on here um, if you own an f82 that's tuned um, either, either stage one or stage two get that shit man it makes a huge difference and you could do a few custom things so the way bmw set it up um they wanted the car to feel like a manual that's what they did on here that was their intention with this car um but it, when you shift it like unsettles the car a little bit it's kind of fucking annoying and i don't like it but when you put it in the drive logic most aggressive one with this new xhp trans tune it just butter dude and it burns through gears so fast a few other custom things you could do um like launch from second turn off creep mode there's a fuck ton of things um, but for me i'm happy i just kept it pretty stock it was good to go but definitely get that so that's something else i've done um i'd have pfc 08 brake pads and then Motel 600 brake fluid. If you're a track guy with an F80 or F82, get that shit, man. It's loud, get some different pads if you want. But I got brake fade on Utah Motorsports Campus with the stock stuff in four laps, running hard, probably around 95%. And that was scary on stock shit, so I'm like, I'm never going back to stock shit. But yeah, man, that's the new shit. It's fucking, the tires on wheels, so fucking, they make a huge difference, man. Oh. Don't forget about this. Follow me on Instagram. All right? Tell your dog I said hi. <laughs> uh, I love that shit. So the funniest story about that, man. I'll get to the other shit in a minute. I listen to metal. I ride with my windows down. And this like six-year-old girl pulled up, is pulled up next to me at the stoplight. And I'm blasting metal. I think it was I prevail or some shit. I don't fucking know. And I'm like, why is this girl staring at me so hard, bro? And <laughs> she smiles and lifts up her dog. It's like a little fucking tiny poodle and starts laughing. I could tell she read that and like, it was one of the most wholesome moments ever. But yeah, wherever you are, thank you for making my day whenever you did that. That was awesome. So cool, let's just, if you haven't, if you haven't tuned in yet, I did another video uh, about a year ago with this car. Completely different with 20 inch wheels as Boston HF5. I still have them actually. 
Um, go watch that. It's got 19,000 views. I appreciate everyone um, watching it. Like, it means a lot to me. But I'll go through everything else. So, on the front, Horizon Motorsport front um, whip. I don't remember which one it is. I have a motto. Oh, there it is. Shit. Perfect timing, man. There he is. Perfect timing. <laughs> My buddy Colton, he just got this R33 fucking insane Skyline. But yeah, I got the front whip right there. Then Horizon Motorsport, um, whatever the fuck does it call it? Side skirts, I don't remember. And then RW Carbon Diffuser. I forget in the words. Sounds so good. Do the rev thingy. <laughs> <laughs> so I got that and then full stage two bolt-ons like charge pipe J pipe everything and then there's a 412 motorsport stage one tune I didn't do my crank up yet so it's something on the list uh, 412 motorsport down pipes VRSF single mid pipe or high flow mid pipe so yeah it's fucking it's good what up bro Perfect timing, yeah, right hand drive. I sent it down that stretch and that cop. There, yeah, that cop came down here. Did it? Yeah, he drove by me. I think he saw me. Yeah, bro, well, fucking I came, I like sent it, gave like a little pep pep. Also, right as I like pepped it. <laughs> Lord, oh, mm. <laughs> the police getting you. Hey, say hi, bro, to YouTube. Oh, shit. What up? We'll do your car next, bro. Bro, that thing looks so much better. Oh, I know, man. You can sit in it, because I was actually just talking about how low it is, bro. Is this one so large or medium? Uh, same size. Well, yeah. <laughs> how tall are you? 5'10". He's 5'10", bro. Look Jesus at his eye line on this one. Right there. Yeah, it's just low. Like yeah, that's style. low as fuck, bro. Have you driven it yet? No, not yet. Oh, what the fuck? You could drive it. Oh, good. I mean, you don't need to after driving that. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Driving that thing home? Fucking with this bitch in a half. Yeah. There's another video on that we're doing. Stay tuned. But yeah, that's everything. So uh, follow me on Instagram. Tell your dog I said hi and smoke cigar, good cigars and don't be a bitch. And if you think uh, <laughs> bucket seat is not good for daily driving, you're fucking wrong. I'm fat, so it's okay. So y'all have a good one.